The polo program was started about 14 years ago and it was at that stage an idea that came from the League Up Trust and a local uh, community youth aid police officer about uh, maybe giving some of these uh, younger teenage students some different challenges in life and that's how it all started. Yeah, so basically the kids will come here and we'll start with just getting the horses in from the paddock, um, brushing them, doing all the care, learning about how to look after a horse, like feeding it and making sure it's got water and how to brush it if there's any injuries, how to deal with them. Learning everything about them, how to tack them up, what different gears for what. Just uh, for them, a lot of it's handling a horse because it's something new to them. Um, and then they'll all go for a ride in the paddock um, for about half an hour or so and um, have a bit of a riding lesson and then they come in, give the horses a wash, um, you know, feed them some hay do all the, that side of the care as well at the other end um, and then we'll sit down and do a bit of theory looking through gear maintenance or horse health or um, anything around yard care, um, all that sort of stuff. So when I first came here I had like no experience with a horse, like I'd ridden a couple times and I had pretty bad anxiety when I came here, like I still suffer with pretty bad anxiety so I freaked out I think the first couple of times. They were really good here about um, teaching you and telling you the whole experience before you get on the horse and knowing what to expect and how to just make sure that you and the horse are both comfortable to ensure you're both safe and also have a good time. So, so it's really important that girls are learning to have confidence and I think with the girls doing new skills um, they do learn confidence and this will just help them to be more active in the future in sport and physical activity and be more willing to give new things a go. Sport Hawks Bay has um, helped us out the last couple of years with funding, which is a really important part of this program. Uh, initially, the, we, we didn't have any funding, didn't know about funding, to be honest. It was just something we were doing. Um, so we get funding from uh, local community trusts and, and the likes of Sport Hawks Bay. So the funding support from Tumanua through Sport Hawks Bay has been essential to keep the program going. And it's great to know that each year you've got that support there. Um, for me, it's impacted my life. When I first joined, my life was in a very rough patch. I was heavily debating leaving school because I wasn't enjoying it and stuff like that. And it's definitely given me an outlet in order to be able to kind of escape the real world in a way and be able to have a, because you can talk to the horses and they don't talk back, so there's zero judgment. As I went through the years, I did two certificate levels through Birchley and then eventually I just decided I love it too much and started working here. It's really cool to see that past participants are now here at Birchley running the programs and inspiring the youth and it just goes to show how much of a difference that the program has had on these students because they're willing to now come back and dedicate their time to help the new participants come through the program and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Yeah, you know, for a lot of the boys especially, we just see their confidence grow. Um, and the horse is really good at that. I mean, the horse for them initially is you know, it's, it's quite frightening, um, but they overcome that fear, and that's the first challenge. And then um, communicating and mingling with the club members. Um, my journey began through high school as well, about five years ago. Um, my PE teacher was bringing kids out and um, she asked me if I wanted to try it out and I said yes and then I became a club member and I've been calming out ever since and playing in tournaments and chuckers, just having heaps of fun. I find it very peaceful and tranquil out here, it's real relaxing and that mood lasts for a while, it can carry on usually to the next day or even a couple days afterwards, which can, um, it can make it uh, just a lot easier to go through stuff. Like I don't have the best home situation, so it's good to come here and be in a really good mood and go home and be still in that good mood and carry that in through the household. And, and it, it really helps with confidence just overall, because it's like, well, I can ride a horse actually, so I can do anything pretty much.